Our final speaker today is another volunteer, just like you. And I think it's worth remembering that. Suzanne Fogg, who's on our board of trustees, one of her kids is smiling at me from down there, Heidi. They're just ordinary people like you, our trustees and our volunteers, but they give up whatever time they've got outside of their work commitments, their daily lives, to build this space for cycling campaign. So remember that when you're listening to Suzanne. Over to you. Hello. Great to see so many of you here. Oh, what a colourful bunch you are. Can you stand up here? There we go. Can you stand up, Willie? So I'm Susie and I'm a trustee of the LCC. I'm a relative newcomer to London. But more importantly for me today, I'm a mum with two delightful children, Oliver who's here and Jessica down there. And over the past four years, we've been, I've been moving them around in a box bike. And there were a few of those here. They're a bit like a postman's bike, postman's trolley with two wheels. Anyway, I like cycling and I realized very quickly that this was the safest, quickest and healthiest way to get them around for them and for me, for, for both of us, for all of us. It's great taking toddlers around because we can go to the park, we can go and see friends and family. And over the last past three years, Oliver and Jessica have started flying around on their own two wheels. Um, first on balance bikes and now with their own bikes. They've got pedals, they've got brakes, they've even got bells. But now Oliver's six and he thinks he's big and you can't see but he's lost his first milk tooth yesterday. He's done some cycle training and he wants to be ready for the roads. And by the time he's eight, I want him to cycle with me on the roads, just as is perfectly normal in Amsterdam or Copenhagen. But at that age, at that age, he'll also be a liability on the pavement and he'll be too heavy for me in the box bike. So why am I here? I want him to be able to cycle on London's roads safely. Oliver and I, we want and we need that space for cycling. Oliver and I want space to cycle to school without being beeped at by cars running, running through our neighbourhood, by vans trying to save just a few minutes and a few seconds on their journeys. We're beeped at as if we're doing something wrong, as if we don't deserve to be there. But we do, and we have to be a, a right to be on the roads too. <laughs> Oliver and I need some space to go slowly, away from the fast-moving, heavy traffic. He knows about lethal lorries and he knows why I hang back on the box bike when we're at the lights. We need space, we're not in a hurry, we're enjoying our journey, it's not just about getting there. Oliver's learning to whistle and it's great fun and he's proud of it, just like he is of cycling. And cycling's even more fun for him and it's even more important for him in life. He, but right now he just can't cycle anywhere. And along with a million, millions of other kids, Oliver needs the space. We both, and we all need that space. Cities change all the time, and London can change. What it becomes is up to us as Londoners. So let's change this one and make it more livable for everyone. We're here today, like you, to ask all local politicians to support space for cycling and to make it possible for my kids and all the kids like them, all across London, to cycle on our roads, just like those kids in Amsterdam where it's perfectly normal and in Copenhagen where it's perfectly normal. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne.